Like most celebrity couples, Ryan Gosling and Eva Mendes have lived in some gorgeous California mansions from Los Feliz to Santa Barbara and more. However, unlike other celebrity couples, this pair is notoriously private and loves to keep themselves and their kids away from the tabloids. In recent news, Ryan and Eva may even leave Hollywood altogether, maybe even moving north to Ryan's native Canada, but until then, they're supposedly living at their Santa Barbara getaway. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. We all have those couples in our lives, you know, the type that would rather hang out alone on a Saturday night with one another than head out and party with a group of friends. Actually, come to think of it, I guess we've all kind of turned into that couple over the past year or two, haven't we? Well, allow me to introduce you guys to the Hollywood equivalent to the rest of us, Eva Mendez and Ryan Gosling, a couple that's so private, they've hardly ever even been photographed with one another, despite being together for over a decade now. The pair first met back in 2011 while filming the underrated film The Place Beyond the Pines. Upon co-starring this film together, sparks immediately flew and now now, 11 years later, the couple are living with one another and their two young daughters, Esmeralda and Amada. Since the birth of their children, both actors have taken a major step back from Hollywood. Gosling generally only acts in one or two films a year, while Mendes has decided to concentrate on other opportunities that will keep her close to home and her kids, such as designing a new clothing line with New York and Company. Now considering they have a combined net worth estimated at around $90 million, I guess they can afford it. More recently, news has broken that these two have finally decided to abandon Hollywood altogether. Since early 2021, there have been whispers that they've been looking to offload their two LA properties in a plan to ditch Tinseltown for good. Now records reveal that the couple has followed through with these plans, selling not only their former home base of more than a decade in Los Feliz, but also Gosling's former bachelor pad he's held on to for years. While the family figures out their next course of action, they're gonna spend the next few months living in their Santa Barbara estate that actually might be the nicest out of all of them. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here in Famous Entertainment. Today, looking at where Ryan Gosling and Eva Mendes call home, as well as where they might be moving. Don't forget to like this video, hit that subscribe button if you haven't, and follow me on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. Before we head on over to the house that Eva and Ryan have called home for the last decade, I thought we'd kick things off by checking out the original house these two shared together. Originally purchased by Eva prior to their relationship, when these two began dating, this is where they spent the majority of their free time. Featuring a totally bohemian styled aesthetic, this house boasts three bedrooms and two bathrooms, alongside a host of other eccentric features. Seriously, this place looks like it belongs in a real estate listing straight out of the 1970s, with the funky, retro furniture and unique color palette that exists in both their living room and the kitchen. There's even a completely random picture of a shark sitting awkwardly at the top of a staircase. The odd details continue on outside, where there's not only an outdoor shower, but a cedar hot tub that looks like it belongs in a Swiss chalet. There's also a gigantic entertaining deck out here, but just be sure not to wander too far off course, because you might end up in the middle of the chicken coop. After Ryan and Eva started to get a little more serious about one another, they came to the realization that as interesting as this place is, they would need a little more room if they wanted to have a family of their own. Luckily, Eva already had a second home located in the very same neighborhood of Los Feliz, which is where they moved to next. And in 2018, Eva would offload this home for a reported $1.27 million. Remember how I mentioned off the top that Ryan and Eva are one of Hollywood's most notoriously private couples? Well. Well, because of that fact, everything we know about their home located in Los Feliz comes directly from tax records and years old listings that no longer even have any images. In other words, sorry folks, but you're gonna have to use your imagination to picture the inside of this place. But at least I can show you what the outside looks like from above. 
Mendes acquired this place on her own prior to meeting Gosling, buying the property back in 2008 for a reported $3.2 million. First built in 1926, this Mediterranean revival style mansion sits on an irregularly shaped corner lot and spans about one third of an acre of land. Featuring roughly 3,900 square feet of space, the home also boasts four bedrooms and four bathrooms, which offered the couple all the necessary space to expand their family. The house is also surrounded on all sides by some of the tallest hedges and bamboo shoots you'll probably ever see to help with the privacy that they love so much. Beyond that, there's a detached garage with enough room for three cars down below, while up above, there's a space that can be turned into either a guest studio or an office. Also spread out around the exterior of the property are a number of patio and terraces, all of which step down to a gigantic rectangular swimming pool. As for how Ryan and Eva would spend their everyday lives living here, well, according to what a source told Us Weekly, they're hands-on parents and don't have any nannies. Eva has programmed her entire routine and career to ensure family comes first, then work fits in around it. Meanwhile, Ryan is protective of Eva and a very doting dad. The foursome reportedly enjoyed going for walks from the neighborhood's many parks and spent a lot of time checking out nearby farmers markets, which yeah, basically sounds like the most Ryan Gosling thing ever. Word would eventually come down that the couple sold this home for a reported $5 million, and that wasn't the only place they moved off of. Besides their lovely family home, Gosling also sold his long-owned Los Angeles bachelor pad around the same time. This mid-century modern house was tucked up a long and secret driveway in LA's Studio City neighborhood. Of course, it had been left vacant for the majority of the last decade, as Ryan has been living with Eva and their kids down in Los Feliz. Records reveal that this home was sold in an off-market deal to Hollywood costume designer Mark Avery, who's worked with Ryan multiple times in the past including on First Man. In other words, details about what this place looks like on the inside are even harder to source than their former family residence. Of course, ever since news broke of the sale of these two homes, rumors have abounded on just where it is that this happy family will move to next. They were reportedly interested in a $9.5 million estate located in San Marino, California, but unfortunately for them, they were outbid. Since then, it's been widely assumed that the couple would move north of the border to Canada. A source told OK Magazine, They have started looking at properties mostly in Ontario. They can't think of a better place to raise their family. By all reports, the couple have been looking not far from where Gosling once grew up in Burlington, Ontario region. But while they work out this decision, the family is living at their scenic getaway in the quaint Santa Barbara County town of Carpentaria. Gosling and Mendez have been able to call this gorgeous residence home ever since they picked it up together back in 2014. Located about two hours north of LA and built in the year 2000, this farmhouse-like estate flaunts a vibrant color and colorful decoration. Featuring 5,000 square feet of space, this compound consists of three 200-year-old barns, all of which have been imported from the state of Maine linked together and fixed up by the residence's former owner. The former owner was filmmaker Joel Schumacher. And back in 2006, this home was photographed for Architectural Digest when Schumacher was still the owner. So those images you're seeing on screen right now are from when Joel owned the place. The heart of the home is easily the massive book-filled double-wide living room with balconies and sweeping cathedral-type ceiling. There are also fireplaces that anchor each end of the mammoth space that helps create two distinct sitting areas. The house is also set to feature four bedrooms, radiant heated floors, and a gigantic swimming pool out back surrounded by lush foliage. So how long will Ryan and Eva stay camped out here with their kids while they work out their next move? Well, it's a little too early to tell. But one thing's for sure, they don't need to rush to move off a place so stunning. Especially not for these Ontario winters. I guess we're about to find out how serious these two really are about moving to Canada. Either way, that wraps up our Ryan Gosling and Eva Mendes house tour. And considering they may just be the most private celebrity couple ever, we got quite a few details on their California properties. What did you guys think? Be sure to leave your thoughts and comments down below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give me a follow on Instagram and tell me which celebrity houses you'd like to see next. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!